So I'm out here working on some lawn tractors today. I got this one here, this Craftsman, and uh, has the 16 horsepower, the single cylinder Briggs and Stratton 16. Pretty nice motor, runs good. However, the hydrostatic transmission is uh, kaputs, done, doesn't work anymore. So, uh, I think what I'm going to do is pull this motor out and it's going to go into this guy over here. Yeah. This yard man. Beautiful thing here. Um, and I was told this has a good transmission, but, uh, yeah. No motor in there. So, uh, I think that's what's going to happen. So, before I scrap out the transmission in here, I thought I'd give it uh, one more try of see if I can uh, get it to go. And this is stuck. It won't go forward. It won't go into reverse. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is disconnect the linkage, which is right down in there. Right there. That bolt. I'm going to see if the linkage is seized up or if there's actually an issue with the transmission. Um, and then we'll decide if I'm going to pull the motor in this or uh, try and save the transmission. Okay. So I got my linkage disconnected. Let's see if you can see it down there. Actually, it'd be right there. So that's the lever on the transmission. And then here's the... There's the linkage lever hanging there. So uh, let's try the shifter here. And the shifter. Oh! Shifter moves. So the linkage is good. Uh, let's try moving the. Let me try moving the transmission. Uh, it's really stuck. Can't move it by hand. Uh, but what I'm going to try and do is. There's one last stitch effort. Yeah, here we go. Got my big crowbar. So uh, what I'm going to do is, and I don't recommend that you do this. I'm only doing this because uh, this is going. If this doesn't work, this is going to the scrap yard. So uh, I thought I'd try one last effort here. Uh, so. I'm sticking my crowbar. See if we can like see this here. In there. Like so. Here we go. Got it on the shifting lever. Now I'm gonna like pry. And hey, I got some movement there. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm not sure if you could see that or not, but it did, it did actually move. So, since I got it to move into a gear, uh, I'm going to try dropping this transmission and uh, see if I can get it working better. Uh, see if we can bring it back to life. So, I'll drop that off and uh, see what we can do with it. Let's go take a look at that. So, we got that pulled off. Here it is over here so there's where the linkage hooks up and I tried to move that by hand after I pulled it off or after I pulled the linkage off and I couldn't move it so I was like yep it's done but then I was like you know let me try prying on it with a crowbar just because I was gonna scrap it anyway and it moved so it's been kind of stiff um, but the linkage on here will actually move. There you can see it. Yep. So we get that moving. So basically, what I did to try and unfree this thing or get it into working shape is, and by the way, don't try this yourself or don't do what I did. This is just um, what I did, uh, not really a how to, but anyway, I put in about a quart of gasoline and 
ran this around and switched it into all the gears and then drained that out after draining out the really nasty oil that was in there. Um, so basically I ran the gas through there and drained it and then I put a quart and a half of the Marvel Mystery Oil and basically did the same thing only I let it sit in there it's still sitting in there and uh, I'm gonna pour that out now and uh, we'll see what that looks like all right and the other thing too is I really don't like the rubber thing they have here you should have a real bolt in there but uh anyway here's the marble mystery oil let's see what this looks like when it's coming out of here uh, doesn't look too bad not as bad as the other stuff that came out but uh just gonna let that drain you can kind of see some of the gook that was coming out of there it's getting that gas and get the rest of the marble mystery oil but yeah you can see the swirls of nastiness in there uh, once this marble mystery oil gets finished draining out I'm going to replace it with this red line 75 W90 no slip NS uh, it's basically gear oil for manual transmissions. Some guys would probably say this is great. Some guys probably would never use this. Uh, I basically got this for free, so I'm going to use it. I think it's going to work pretty good for uh, this transmission. So we'll see. I got the transmission working pretty good on this guy, so uh, so uh, looks like I won't be pulling the motor out of here and putting it in my beautiful yard, man. So uh, I guess for now, I mean, I'm happy that I got the transmission working on here, but uh, I guess the motor's gonna have to stay in this ugly craftsman instead of going into my beautiful yard man over here we'll have to find another motor for that guy though so uh but yeah happy with the transmission i'm glad that worked out